So with that, let me uh, introduce the first speaker, which is uh, Calista Redmond. She's the CEO of the Risk Five Foundation. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. We're all here. We're all a part of this community. And thank you so much for showing up. You're not just showing up here in Zurich, but you're also showing up around the world. You're having conversations one on one. You're participating in industry events. You're hosting your own events. Wow. Like, I'm almost exhausted just getting up here. So thank you so much for showing up for showing up and putting your investment, your personal energy, your personal belief into Risk Five, It has been a tremendous uh, entree into this community for me personally. I absolutely am excited to get to know the folks who have come to Zurich uh, for this week. Please grab me anytime and let's have uh, some discussions. I'd love to hear what's on your mind. And with that, I'll, uh, I'll jump in. So we are making an incredible amount of impact in the industry. And it's not the industry, it is many different industries. From this, you can see that we are uh, capturing the attention in multiple geographies. We are, being, uh, we are showing up in Zurich, we are showing up in India, we are showing up in China, we're showing up in North America, and across Europe. This is a global community, and I'm so impressed with the traction that we're making. You see by some of the headlines here, we're uh, making many design wins. We are participating in AI. We're participating in uh, automotive. We're participating in storage. We're participating in HPC. This is a groundswell movement that you have begun, and we are here to say that you know, this is not an academic project. This is not an, an experiment. This is not a sideshow. This is becoming mainstream. It's becoming mainstream to your businesses, to your institutions, to your research. And this is something to be incredibly proud of because it wouldn't be possible without the collaboration across this, this group. There are many reasons why each of us has decided to take the Risk Five approach. Right? We are looking at a new uh, way of thinking, a new and simpler uh, uh, ISA to work with. We are looking at something that is built for the modularity and the flexibility that modern workloads are calling for. We are looking at this from an architectural blueprint, something that we know has a durable, strategic, lasting uh, foundation that we can continue to build on, continue to innovate with. To do that, we need transparency. In the open source world, transparency equals sharing the, and public distribution of that code, publishing those specifications, and being able to verify uh, that that is all consistent and compliant. So risk five is not only an ISA, but it is a community. And it is important for us to think about where do we go in this next chapter? What are the various things that are important to this community that we together drive forward? So the three things that I've highlighted here are continuing to progress the technical state of the art, making sure that you have all the pieces that you need to be innovative, creative, and successful. This is about bringing something from you know, what may have once been construed as a hobby or an academic initiative into commercial success. Without commercial success, it really is just a hobby. And we want you to be successful. We want this to be the next platform that is already disrupting the industry that we continue to build on. To do that, we need to continue to enrich and build this community. This is an ecosystem with many different stakeholders, from pieces and parts of the uh, technical deliverables, to geographies, to implementations in various uh, vertical industries, it's important to us to continue to build a robust community of uh, various stakeholders. To do that, to make you successful, it is our job also to shine the spotlight on the many successes that we're having across the ecosystem. So those are sort of the three key areas that we're working on. 
as many of you know, because you signed up for Risk Five without asking, what is it? In fact, I rarely hear what is Risk Five, unless it's from like my older relatives. They're they're not sure. But from from the vast majority of you who have signed up today, you already know what it is. In fact, you've already rolled up your sleeves, our hands on code, and are making uh, making it happen. But these are some of the key reasons that Risk Five is successful today. And we can go into those in more detail, but Ted's going to cut me off after 15 minutes. So let me talk a little bit about the ecosystem. The logos on this chart are continuing to get smaller and smaller <laughs> as we continue to bring more and more into each of these spheres. Each of these realms are important sub-communities, but they also must interact as a whole. If you see your logo on this chart, thank you for already participating. If you are not yet a member, which I know we have some of that here too, please come talk to us. How can I get involved? What, what will this do to help me progress my own strategy, to help me engage? The, the logos on this chart, have, some have been in here in with Risk Five since the beginning, and some just signed up yesterday. I think I'm signing off on membership agreements about every day. So thank you so much for your, uh, your participation. As you can see from this chart, we are continuing to grow really fast. We are now more than 250 members, and you see a little bit more of the data point breakdowns. We like data here, right? You, you see some of those breakdowns of who is part of this community and how are we interacting together. The visibility of what's going on in Risk Five is also growing. The amplification of not only what the foundation is doing, but the success of each of our members. And we would love to help amplify your success. If you've got a win, if you've got a press release, if you've got another part of the story that we can amplify, we would love to help do that. Just looking at some of the, the facts and figures and fun facts here, you can see that we have grown tremendously in the number of folks attending our summit. This was in December. As Ted mentioned, we've got more than 300 folks here in Zurich and a long wait list of folks that couldn't get in. So uh, thank you again for registering as early as you could. We've put out a lot of press releases. We've shown up in a lot of press releases. We've shown up in a lot of uh, articles. In fact, 34,200 to capture the progress of Risk Five and our member organizations. We have started to see a lot more activity on social media. Social media, whether it's LinkedIn or Twitter or in, in other uh, regions, we look at other properties. Amplifying your success in social media is something we would love to help uh, continue to do. So we are progressing into the next chapter. We have a great foundation, a fantastic community of very, very engaged folks. And we're going to start uh, looking at six different programs as we continue to build on this community. Because you know, I fundamentally believe that the value of being a member of the Risk Five Foundation is that we together can do things that no single organization could do by themselves. Right? So for example, if you're going to go out and do all of the technical development by yourself, it would cost a lot more. It would incur more risk, more time, and more effort. By doing it collaboratively and collectively, we can get there faster, better, cheaper. I think those are the key things if you're looking for a car, but this works for Risk Five too. The other aspects, we are building out a compliance program. You'll see a, a work group that has already started on that so that you can ensure that the things you're building are interoperable today and for the foreseeable future. We're putting together programs around visibility. By the way, there's a lot more detail behind all of these, but every single one of them has an early start. Visibility is about amplifying the success that we're having as a community. Depending on the audience, it may be a technical audience, it may be a business audience, it may be a specific vertical industry. Learning and talent. We need to ensure that there are skills that are coming out of universities, that there are eager new entrants to uh, their careers that are going to build it on Risk Five.
we also need to ensure that we've got training available for folks at a professional level. So think of it from awareness, the deep technical expertise, and through to what comes next? Advocacy. How do we ensure that we scale? Because every one of us can tell the risk five story. Because every one of us is out there uh, at meetups and events. There are hundreds of events that we could be participating in every year. And we need to scale ourselves by ensuring that we have representation at those. So advocacy and outreach, it may be through meetups, it may be through industry events, it may be through uh, you know, enabling and equipping individuals to go out and talk about it in their geo, in their industry, and so, on, so forth. And then marketplace is really about showcasing all the great solutions that are coming to fruition. Thinking about things from you know, code and ISAs to uh, SOCs and other deliverables. So as I mentioned, we have an early start on each one of these priorities. We have 20 different focus areas, 18 official uh, work groups and committees, and, uh, along with a security committee. And we're proposing, and by the way, there's an exploratory meeting this week on the safety uh, task group. So we're already making great progress there. And as I mentioned, we've got a compliance task group. Please help engage on these. In terms of advocacy and outreach, as I mentioned, we've got a running start with meetups. And these are already reaching more than 1,500 people. This is a great forum to have one-on-one -on -one discussions to really get to the heart of the matter. It's very difficult for me to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with you in this space, but I look forward to it in, in the uh, breakouts. And then, as I mentioned, in Marketplace. We're going to be revamping how we showcase the many solutions and things that members are bringing to market. To help support these, we recognize that we need to kind of look at an improvement to how we do membership. And so you'll see that as we continue to reiterate the value of why do this collectively and collaboratively rather than on your own, we're going to be looking at adding at an additional level to our membership uh, areas. And I could sit down with anyone that wants to talk about these. So the, this is a preview. You will see some more detail and information on what the new uh, levels entail specifically. This gives you sort of a high level view. And then what the transition plan will look like from where we are today to where we will be tomorrow. The most important thing here is that we're adding a level of uh, called premier level. This will allow for, you know, if you're all in as, a, as an organization, if you're fully invested, we want to make sure you have a seat at the table. And that's the technical table as well as the business table. In the strategic member levels, these are very much like what we have today. We are looking at uh, tiered pricing based on how big the organization is based on employee size. But a very big benefit to this level. Right now, we don't have board representation from all levels of our organization. I want to make sure we are hearing your voices and including your votes as we progress this organization. So there will be three seats available for uh, the board, for folks in the strategic level to run for, and we uh, look forward to including those voices. The community level. So this is a really interesting one. This is the first organization I've been in where you're uh, actually asking universities and individuals to pay. So we're going to get rid of that. Uh, so that's the, the biggest new change for universities and individuals is we'll no longer ask for an annual membership fee. And I think that's important because individuals are some of the developers and, and engineers out there who are some of our biggest advocates. And universities, we're counting on you to help us seed the future generations with risk five as, as part of their toolkit. We look forward to that. And there will be some, uh, there will be a voting member of the board ascribed to the university levels and a non-voting member of the board for the individuals. So those are some of the big high level changes that you'll see coming. And uh, please sit down and talk with me if one of those sounds particularly interesting or confusing, and I'd be more than happy to take you through it. So we, you know, there are various things like Uber, like Airbnb, 
and other things that are wildly disrupting the industry, causing, you know, wreaking havoc on, you know, kind of the existing industries. Guess what? We're next. We are absolutely disrupting the status quo. We are absolutely changing the game of what's going on in silicon. And we can't do it without you. So thank you for investing your interest, investing your strategy, investing your precious resources in risk five. Without you, we wouldn't be here. So thank you so much.